All right, so here we have my Springfield loaded 1911. Let me see if I can back this camera up a little bit. Um, everything's safe, clear. Okay. Now this gun is fantastic. Uh, this video is not a review of this gun. This video is actually uh, showing the installation of the, I guess, GI model of the guide rod where you don't need the hex screw to disassemble or field strip the gun. This gun, that's the problem right there, you see? The way it comes, it's a two-piece full-length guide rod that requires a hex key to take apart. The problem with this is that you need a tool to take it apart and I've noticed that when I'm shooting matches when I'm done and I go to take the gun apart this is actually loose. Um, it starts coming loose with every shot and I don't want to tighten it too much because then I don't want to uh, cross thread the actual guide rod or anything like that or strip it here. So I decided to call Springfield and purchase the GI model and um, this is what normally comes with the range officer Springfield 1911 that they just came out with so I knew they had it so I just called them up ordered it I think it was like uh, 10 bucks for this and then four bucks and something for this plus shipping which I think I don't know how much that was but whatever it wasn't that bad so I'm gonna install that now <laughs> first remove this here All right. and here you just push this down it's hard doing this behind the camera everyone on YouTube always says that but it's true. All right, there you go. So that's that. Push the slide back. It's a lot more difficult doing this on camera. <laughs> All right. So this is the one that comes on it. It's interesting because as you can see here, whoops. So this one has threads. This basically goes like this and comes all the way down there and screws into that, making it a full length guide rod. So let's remove this spring. Remember this spring has one side that's just one open coil and the other side has like a two coils together. This is the side that goes to the um, guide rod. Let's put that in there. This is a parkerized finish. The stainless steel is not really stainless steel but the chrome version that they sell was a lot more expensive so I didn't, I didn't buy that one. I don't really care about the looks. For me, it's just about functionality. So that seems like it fits on there pretty good. All right. I don't know how I feel about not having a full-length guide rod. Let's see. So let's put this in there. Now we need to be careful here. What I normally do with this part here is not the best way, but it's my way so I don't get that newbie scratch. Is I sink this part in here. Awesome. Now I know what they mean by this is harder to assemble this symbol. Alright. 
there you go. Let's see the final look. Looks pretty good to me. Let's do it there with the light. So now, to field strip it, all you have to do is press down on this and move the bushing over. Like that. No tools necessary. This won't unscrew as you shoot. None of that garbage that you have to deal with with the stock guide rod. Alright, now I just have to go out and shoot it. Test it out. See if I can tell any difference between the full length guide rod and that one. Alright, this video <laughs> took a lot longer than it should have. It was much more of a hassle than it should have been, but there you have it. One thing I forgot to show you guys is, um, in the beginning of the video, of this video, you saw how when the slide was back, you had the guide rod sticking out here. Now you don't have that, so it's more of the old school 1911 look from back in the day when it came out. That's pretty cool. I actually like that. The fact that there's no guide rod sticking out. Makes it look like the classic. Alright, just wanted to show you that.